Hey everybody, the Reese Viral here, and welcome to a new Let's Play. Today we are starting Spyro the Dragon, a huge game of my childhood, and a great game. It, it, it really is. But, I was gonna say something, but I forgot. <laughs> I recorded this yesterday, not yesterday, the other day, I don't remember when it was, I think it was Wednesday, and made it to the second world, uh, like halfway through the second world. <clears throat> then I deleted my save game, for some stupid reason. I don't really know why, but I know that I did. And I feel really stupid because of it. <laughs> I honestly don't have a clue why I did it, but whatever. Anyway. Okay, rolling. <clears throat> it's been peaceful here in the five worlds, or is it... <laughs> for a dragon's age, we now have twelve thousand treasure. Damn. Or is it fourteen thousand? <laughs> what about this Ganasty Ganort character? Oh, Ganasty Ganort. Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple. <laughs> he has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Ooh. Besides, he is ugly. That does it. All three points were very true. Looks like I've got some things to do. Spyro doesn't have teeth. In that cutscene, Spyro has no teeth. But in these cutscenes, he does have teeth. <clears throat> You'll see. Nesta. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. No problem, bro. The dragons in the artisan world. Then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? The I'm teeth. going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Yes. Spyro. Heed the... Heed Nesta's warning. I also feel really stupid because when I did record this, I've recorded it twice now. Both were crappy attempts. But to check like how many gems I'd gotten in a stage, I always did it this way. And literally, I've just found out you can do it by pressing select. And I feel incredibly stupid. Hang on a minute, I'm going to... Okay, that works, whatever. I'm just trying to do this without fucking up. Yay! Right, this is the first course we're going to be doing just because it's really short and easy, if done correctly. <clears throat> and I am aiming. Don't hold me to this because I don't know whether I will be able to or not. But I am aiming on at least trying to get 100% on each level. Oops. So we'll see how that goes. There's no, like, it's not a surefire thing. I don't know where all the gems are completely, but. We'll just, we'll see where it goes. I think I'll do alright. But the way I do this, uh, Sunny Flight stage, is I do the treasure chests first. I think I do, I don't actually know how many there is. I do six of the arches, and then I do the planes, and then I do the TNT stuff. You'll see. Um, there's seven, not seven, there's five. There's eight in total. Right, there's six. Now the planes. I've always done it this way because it works for me. I don't know why or how it works for me, but I know it does. And that's all that matters. And then there's the one plane that is here. Yeah, I'll go back. It was too risky. If you land in the water on this stage, then it's an instant fail. So. I would rather not risk a fail. And there we go, the TNT. These are the easiest ones because you get two TNT in one stroke. So, yeah, these are definitely the easiest. Oh dear, I missed one. Really? That has never happened before in my life. Yeah, I'll cut it off over here. I'm doing a hell of a lot better than I did the first couple times I tried to record this though. So, I'm not really that bothered. Where the heck? Oh, there it is. There we go. Yay! Alright. 
I think my quickest time on this was 145. And if I had, hadn't had missed that TNT one that I did, I would have probably gotten quicker than 145. Never mind. <clears throat> Alright, so that sunny flight completed. I'll gradually go through this world and complete it. Normally I like to get everything in the world straight away. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him. Keep <clears throat> your horns on, Spyro! You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Yes. Um... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. Yeah, okay. I'll expand on what he's just said. Sparks is pretty much your health meter. He starts off golden, or yellow, uh, when you get hit once by an enemy that actually hits you, unlike these ones that just run away from you. Uh, he'll go to blue, and that's when he's been hit once. When he's been hit twice, he'll go to green, and then if he gets hit again, he disappears. And then if you get hit once more when you don't have sparks, then you lose a life, or you die. Whichever term you want to use. But yeah, that's that's how it works with this. Although I do know, and that wasn't supposed to happen, but whatever. I do know now that the game has a very pointless game over system. Like, you lose all your lives, it takes you to a game over system, if you press start you get four lives again, and it all just carries on as if you didn't get a game over. There we go. I don't know why, but I always wondered why the enemies drop gems in this game when they don't in like, the second or third game. Or at least I don't think they do in the third, they might do. I haven't played that game in ages. The last time I played that game was when I was a kid, so... It really has been a while for that one. <clears throat> but... Yeah, I didn't really know why they dropped gems. But then I felt like an idiot when I figured out why they dropped gems. They drop gems because Nasty Nork, or Ganasty Gnork, turned warriors, or turned gems into warriors for his cause, as they said at the start of the game. And when I actually noticed that, I felt so stupid because I was like, uh, why didn't I know that? Or why didn't I think that sooner? Oh well. I'm literally zooming through this stage not to complete it. No, I'm zooming through it to go down here which is a secret area that leads you to treasure and to a key. The key is needed to open up locked chests, which we will see more of later in the game, or as we go through the game. Not every stage has a locked chest, but quite a few do, and it's kind of a pain in the ass to find the key. <laughs> At least on some it is, but if you look hard enough, it's like the levels are very limited with how they, like, where they let you go, so, you know. I think getting this guy was probably a bad idea. Astor. After you freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. Alright. Let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm, I'm debating what to do with the dragons. Like, I don't know... Yeah, what I mean by that is I don't really know whether or not I should let all of them speak, or whether I should just skip them once I freed them. Like, it would literally only take a few seconds for them to say what they want to say, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I'll decide at some point. And if you haven't guessed, then... Um, the red chests can be broken either by charging or flaming. These ones can only be broken by charging, because they are heat-proof. Well, they're metal chests, so yeah. Heat does not break them open. Alright, who's this? Lindar. Okay. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're, you're saving, saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. Okay. I don't know what he's insinuating, but whatever. How many gems are in this stage? Two hundo. Alright, and four dragons. We've still got quite a bit of treasure in this first area. We have the locked chest that we can go and open. 
which we will do once I've gotten all the treasure, the locked chest is in a very obvious place. Whoops. Yeah, the locked chest is right here. Wow. Right here. Along with the dragon. But that's a locked chest. Ooh. Actually, we'll get the dragon first. Gavin. Watch the dragonfly, Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure. <laughs> yeah, yellow's the like max health. He can't go any can't get any stronger than that. I was just thinking, did I get the key? So it wasn't like activating this scene. For the most part, I've noticed that chests only seem to contain 10 gems, which is really shit. But they might contain more late in later stages. I do not remember. It's been too long. Oh yes, we'll become more acquainted with that noise. That's pretty much an en- well not- I guess it is an enemy. But it's not one that hurts you, it's just one that runs away from you. And they like to taunt you with that na 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 shit. And it, it, it does get kind of annoying. Uh, I think you can see him. There you, yeah, yeah you can, he's up there. They're known as a thief, or thieves. They pretty much have stolen the dragon eggs, and you need the dragon eggs. Wait a minute, I can't remember. Oh no, it's only when you're in the home world it shows you how many dragon eggs are missing. I think there's 12. Owned! But yeah, they, they drop dragon eggs. Or they have stolen dragon eggs and you have to chase them down and get them to get the dragon eggs back. So, yeah. Go this way first to get treasure. But there's a really easy way of getting the thieves that I've noticed. So, you'll see. Spyro, my friend, how about a hint on gliding? Sure. You bet. For the longest glide, press the X button at the top of a jump. And try pressing the triangle button to drop down in mid-flight. Ooh, in mid-flight. Did you look at that? Yeah, the triangle button in this game makes you drop down. In the second game, it made you hover, which gave you a little boost to the tip of your jump. This is the trick you can do to catch thieves a lot quicker. You press square and X, which makes you jump and charge at the same time, which you move a hell of a lot quicker if you do so. And as you can see, he runs away. We should be able to catch up with him, unless he dupes me, which does happen a few times. But no, we got him. Yeah, if you use that trick, it really does help so much when it comes to catching the thieves. It's something I, I, I do like in all the games. I'm pretty sure you can do this in all of them. But as you can see, like when you run up a hill, you move so much quicker. Like, because <laughs> it's the, in the noise it makes as well is just brilliant. It's just like there. Whenever you hear that noise, you know he's like just constantly jumping. So we have how many treasure? Twelve. I don't know where that is. Probably in here? Or around here? Oh yeah, most probably in here. Oh right, I think I got it. Ooh, maybe not. Oh no, never mind. Got it! Yay! We got 200 and we got all the dragons. Cool beans. Let's go. Now with the levels, I do sometimes wish that they um, notified you as to whether a level had a locked chest on it or not. Kind of like they do with dragons or with the dragon egg. Like the dragon egg, as you can see, it's there. If it doesn't have a dragon egg on it, it won't show up. If it does, it'll look like it does at the top, which is just the dragon egg with an X. That's until you find it, I mean, it'll show up like that. But I wish they had something like that for the locked chests, because it'd be hey, so much Spider, better. Uh, press the jump button twice to glide, and, and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks? Plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh that. Ugh, 
that. Alright. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, well, never mind. Alright, let's get the thief. Fuck you, thief. I hate the thief so much. The jewel thief. Thief? I can't talk today. I'm just saying all the wrong things. Nah, the other one should be there. How many gems have we got so far? Is it just... Oh, we do, we only have...